Hello. Today we're learning about the Gen Zace iMars Dual Charger. After you unbox your charger, you can use the AC power cord included in the box to plug it into your desired power source. In our case, we're going to use our power strip here. Once you power it on, you'll be brought to the dual channel monitor screen and you're ready to charge your batteries. When getting your packs ready, it is important that you note the orientation of the balance plug. You'll want to plug it in with the prong side down and with the negative side all the way to the left on the outlet. After that, you can plug the battery in with your plug of choice, but included in the box are multiple popular adapters. Before we get into the charger settings, let's talk channels. You'll notice the screen is currently in dual channel monitoring mode, meaning you're able to see the status of both channels at one time. With one short press of the back channel button, you're able to scroll through three screens. Channel A, which will display the battery health of the pack currently plugged in. Channel B, which is not in use and will display zeros. And back to the dual channel monitoring screen where we started. Now let's get back to channel A and charge our first pack. With a short press of the enter settings button, we can access the settings menu and we can scroll up to select task, where with another short press of the enter settings button, we're selecting charge, which is our recommended balance charging mode. Next, we will select our battery type or battery chemistry. Please make sure you have the correct setting for your battery. Target voltage for a fully charged LiPo pack is 4.2 volts, the default setting for LiPo mode. Your iMars Dual automatically detects a cell count for your pack, but it is good practice to always double check. Now we will need to determine your charge rate or target current. In our case, that is 5.5 amps equal to a 1C charge rate for our 5500 milliamp battery. Now that we have our settings to the recommended choices, select Start Task with a short press of the Enter button and your charge cycle has begun. Now let's go back one step to target current. There are two ways to figure out the appropriate 1C charge rate for your pack. The first is shown on your screen, which is to take the milliamp hour rating of your pack and divide by 1000, just as the example shows here. The other way is to take your decimal point for the milliamp hour, move it over three places to the left, as shown here. While your battery is charging, with one short press of the enter settings button, you can bring up the task menu again, where you'll be able to adjust the target current, as well as stop the task ending the charging cycle. Now I hope this video has been helpful, I want to thank you all for watching, and hopefully this gets your batteries charged and keeps your RCs moving. We'll see you in the next one.